Now, if you expand the quality section, underneath it you will find an option named Check Mesh Quality. This option checks the mesh created inside your geometry for any errors or specifically checks the skewness for each element and sees whether the skewness of that element reaches the value of 0.9 or not. If yes, it may be a sign that there are some errors inside your mesh. You can also change the target skewness and its default value to a lower or a larger value for different projects and different geometries. As for the smoothing, this option has the ability to increase the quality of your interior mesh inside your geometry. Now the most important part in this section is the mesh metric. If you click on it, you can see different criteria for the quality of your mesh. For example, you can select between element quality, aspect ratio, skewness and so on. As you change the mesh metric from none to for example element quality, underneath it some different options will appear from minimum, maximum, average and standard deviation. Also under the graphics window you can see a graph will appear showing you the distribution of the element quality of each mesh over some bars. As for the minimum, maximum or average or a standard deviation, there are some parameters that shows the distribution of element quality inside your geometry. For example, the minimum element quality is almost equal to 0.3, meaning that there is an element inside your mesh that has the lowest element quality with a value of 0.3. Also, the average of the element quality of your meshes is equal to 0.8 almost. You can also change the mesh metrics to, for example, aspect ratio and see the distribution of the aspect ratio of your elements. As for the aspect ratio, this parameter is the ratio of the height of a cell to its base. And a high quality mesh has the average aspect ratio of almost 1. And another important parameter that should be checked for a mesh is the skewness. As you change the mesh metric to skewness, you can see the value of average is less than 0.25, which is a good sign and meaning that our generated mesh has a good quality. Also under the mesh metrics, you can see there is a graph showing you the distribution of the skewness of each element over some bars. If you want to increase the number of these bars to see the distribution in a better way, you can simply click on Controls button. Now in this table, in front of the number of bars, simply increase its value and then click on update y-axis. After closing that table, you get to see the distribution of the skewness for each element for your geometry in a better wave over some more bars. Now in order to close the mesh metrics window, we simply change the mesh metric to none and then unexpand the quality section since all the options are finished.